In the 21st century, the Asia-Pacific has been one of the world's most dynamic regions. Rapid economic growth has transformed it from an afterthought to a global center of international trade. According to the World Bank, by 2015, one in three exports by value were emanating from Asian economies, surpassing other developed regions of the globe. Over the last 20 years, the size of the regional bond market has grown nearly sevenfold to more than 21 trillion US dollars, rivaling the total size of European bond markets. Hello, I'm David Cook, Professor of Economics at the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology School of Business and Management. Monetary policy in the Asia Pacific will develop your understanding of the monetary policy strategy of nine regional economies, China, including Hong Kong, Indonesia, Japan, Korea, Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore, and Thailand. Monetary policy governs the ongoing availability of liquidity for the transactions which are the lifeblood of the modern economy. Financial markets' understanding of the tensions of policymakers drive exchange rates, prices in stock markets, and long-term interest rates. Understanding the day-to-day -day dynamics of financial markets requires a familiarity with the practice of monetary policy making. This course will balance theory and practice. We will learn how the general economic theory of supply and demand in competitive markets specifically applies to domestic and international currency markets. Having this tool in hand, we can understand the practical implications for monetary policy implementation. In turn, we will focus on the impact of monetary policy on exchange rates and money markets. Thus, I sincerely hope you can join me for the next four weeks as we learn the theory and practice of monetary policy in the Asia-Pacific region.